We're now going to show you how easy it is to program a description on your item buttons here to reflect the items you sell. In this example, number one is going to be food and number two is going to be drinks. Of course, you may have many more items on your menu or in your shop. This is just an example to show you how easy it is to program the descriptions. The first step is to take our key and we're going to turn that to the P position on the key lock. You'll know you're in that position because it says program mode on the display. We then enter the description programming mode by entering 300 and pressing subtotal. On the display it will show you PLU description programming. So you know you're in the correct mode. We then select the item we want to reprogram, in this case PLU number 1. And then we type in the description food using the alpha overlay key sheet. This is available along with the help guide on the HotPods Help website. On request we can also email this to you directly. We simply align the A4 sheet over the keys and we type in food. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to enter descriptions onto your PLU buttons. Firstly we just need to print the alpha overlay sheet from the HotPos Help website and we need to turn our key into the program position we then enter 300 subtotal we press the PLU button we want to change in this case PLU1 we want to rename that food we press the button we align the key sheet over the keys like so you may want to cut yours out so it slides neatly underneath the plastic cover we then type in food and we press the X time key to finish the line. We then press cash to finish it. You'll notice you get a receipt printed out of the printer saying that description on PLU1 is food. We'll now do PLU2 as drinks. The same process, 300 subtotal. Press PLU number 2. We now type the word drinks on our key sheet. Like so and press the X time key again and press cash to finish. Now we notice if we turn the key back around to register we type in one dollar and press our food we have one dollar on food, two dollars on drinks we have two dollars on drinks. And we can now program the logo or receipt message header on our receipt again using our alpha overlay to program the receipt. We're going to use the example name of shop ABC um, as the shop name which is going to go on line one of the receipt. The receipt has a header has six lines for you to input your information like phone number, address, ABN number and the words tax invoice. The first thing we need to do is to turn our key to program. We then enter 700 subtotal like so we then enter the number of the line we want to program in this case the first line which is line number one and we press the X time button and now it tells us on the display we're going to program logo first line we lay our sheet on the top of the keypad and we're going to type in shop space a B, C, like so, and then we simply then we simply press subtotal to finish and cash to finalise. And you'll notice you get a printout on your receipt saying line one is shop A B C. We'd just like to show you now how simple it is to add a price, a preset price, to your buttons. This is done with the key in program mode we enter price programming mode by entering 200 subtotal you then select the key that you would like to have the preset price on in this case number PLU1 and we're going to make PLU1 $1 we do that by typing in 100 and pressing the X time key at this stage we can also reprice button 2 at the same time by pressing button 2 and making that $2 200 zero, zero. x time 
and then we simply press cash to finish.